into our AMRAP. We're going to start with the monkey and transition into the backwards crawl. We're going to do this five times and crawl forward back to the, your initial position and reset into that standing position. The monkey, we take the opportunity to work our squat pattern. We sink into our hips and we firmly plant our hands on the ground. We do a little pivot and then that into that backwards crawl. Take your time with this. This is all about proper control and you should be able to pause at any moment and control your positions. That's excellent. We're doing it five times. Again, go at your own pace. This is our AMRAP, as many rounds as possible. The monkey into the crawl is the first part of this sequence. You're doing great. And now we get into our deck squats. Practicing rolling, good range of motion at the ankles, knees, and hips. And then have that energy transfer standing up nice and tall. You can modify it if need be, rolling onto the knee and standing up tall. Again, whatever pace, whatever tempo you're comfortable with here. There's always modifications that we can do. That's the deck squat for five. Excellent. And now we're going to perform our elevated bird dog for three each side. This is much more complicated than it looks. Much more challenging on our core. Always pretend like you're balancing something on your back. Have that knee tap and then stretch out. Excellent work. And you simply repeat this for our five minutes total as many rounds as possible. Back to the monkey, into that crawl. Excellent work. This is very taxing. We're just at the two minute mark. We got three minutes left of this. You are allowed to take short breaks if you need to, but try to keep moving for five minutes. Just a fantastic conditioning drill here. Keep going, looking good. Sinking into the hips, planting the hams down firmly, getting into that backwards crawl, crawling forward. Really focus on controlling your body through this whole drill. Keep going, looking good. Into the deck squats now for five. Rolling down. Drive those heels underneath your butt. If you need to, you can use a very small weight in your hands. That counterbalance will help you stand up. Very good. Five reps of the deck squat. <clears throat> Finishing up the round with the elevated bird dog. Looking good, three minutes, 30 seconds down. We're almost there, almost coming out of the home stretch. Good control, always pretending like we have something balancing on our backs. Great coordination here. And here's a different view for you. Back to the monkey and the crawls, many rounds as possible. And it's our last minute here. Stay focused, you're doing great. We're almost done this five minute challenge. If you're using this as a finisher, fantastic. If you're doing this before you go for a walk, that's a tremendous way to get that movement training in and to elevate your metabolism for the day. Great work, stay focused. You are certainly training your brain here. You're benefiting your body. You're using all the major joints in the body. Heart rate's elevated. We got 30 seconds left. You're doing great. Keep it going. Such a great sequence. So much great information in the brain happening right here. Keep moving. You're doing great. We're almost there. Under 10 seconds. 
Great work. And time. 